welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Gary Schomer. We're doing a little laid-back approach today. Um, what I wanted to do is I was doing some testing experiments to figure out what could freeze and what won't freeze in the freezer. Um, our freezer is minus 2 degrees Fahrenheit, so that's like 18.8 Celsius, negative 18.8. And people have asked what freezes in the freezer, what won't, what's safe, what's going to turn into a brick of ice, whatnot. Um, some of the numbers I had found when Googling... 24 proof, so that's, uh, what, 12% alcohol, nah, is a minus 6.7% or minus 6.7 degrees Celsius, so that's 20 Fahrenheit. Uh, 64 proof will freeze around negative 10 Fahrenheit, that's 23.3 negative Celsius, and 84 proof at like negative 30 Fahrenheit or negative 34 Celsius. It's cold. I don't know about your freezer, but I don't have a negative 30 degree freezer. Uh, so what I did is I took the lowest things I could find. I did a search around for some alcohols, and I found peach tree schnapps was 15% alcohol, 30 proof. So technically, if this had been 24 proof, it should freeze at 20 degrees. And mine's at minus 2. We're going to stick with Fahrenheit because the rest confuses me. And then there's the Koipers. And this should freeze the same because it's 30 proof. Now, what I found was that, and this one's, there's only probably like two ounces in there. So if it was going to freeze, it's going to freeze easy. It didn't freeze. It did kind of gel up a little bit. The butter shots or butterscotch schnapps definitely had a frozen feel to it. I took it out. I shook it around a little bit and it broke up a little bit. But it seems that some of the water was freezing over. Um, I don't know if it's going to affect the taste now or later because you basically split that up which is kind of dangerous so what i was going to do is just now my view is not as good so what i'm going to try and do is pour it into the view so people can see it look at that it's like bricks of ice in there right so i would say that from from this perspective depending on what your freezer's at i wouldn't desire this as a way of drinking this one is more syrupy now, much more like if you put a vodka, like say Absolute, in the freezer, it gets a little thick. This, same proof, different results. So I don't know if it's the makeup of what they are, but this one definitely has like a, a crystalline in the middle of around what's probably the more higher proof of alcohol, and it's breaking up the water. It's still sweet. I think it's got a little more potency to it right now, which is odd. Normally, that would be the reverse. Peach tree tastes fine. Peach knobs. Um, now, with that, I would say freezing alcohol is, if it's higher enough proof, like I had written off here, like uh, you won't have a problem with, say, 80 proof, right? Because that, that's minus 30, 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, why would you freeze it as opposed to not? Some people freeze it because they like to remove impurities, the taste of uh, the alcohol, if you will. Um, it works if you buy a really cheap vodka. If you're buying like a $5 bottle of vodka and that's like something in that, like that size, I highly recommend that because you're, you're going to remove some of that taste uh, while it's cold and it will taste better. It's still not good, but it tastes better. Where if you put one of these in there, the only benefit is you like something chilled for vodka. The results, what mixologists would tell you, or a bartender maybe, is that because it's so cold, it doesn't dilute the ice when you're in cocktail shaker or stirring. It's not going to dilute the ice at the same rate, which means you're going to get less water in your cocktail, which is undesired because the water breaks up the alcohol, brings out the aroma, um, so you may get less aroma. Same if you're doing a whiskey, like if you like scotch on the rocks and you decide you're going to put it in the freezer instead, you're going to still have the same chill factor of the scotch, but you're not going to have the same aroma effect because there's no added water. It's just cold. Uh, again, does it really matter? I don't think so. From our perspective, from our show, from the viewers, you do what you like, right? You do what tastes better to you in, in the way you want things to, to be. Um, so that's really all I had for freezing today. The other thing I did notice, and this was like my world ended. <laughs> um, I went out to buy... So I wanted to make my own Midori alternative, and I needed a, a base, a neutral base spirit. I was going to go Tito's because you don't get much more neutral than Tito's. Um, it's very well filtered. However, Absolute was cheaper. 
never seen that before. I mean, from a bottle design perspective, Tito has always been about uh, reducing price of the look and everything and making the high spirit inside because that's what you're really paying for. And I don't, and this is New Hampshire, and I'm not sure if New Hampshire bumped the price up because the demand was higher. Uh, it's award-winning, and they're bragging about it, and maybe that's why more people are buying it. It's cheaper, so maybe New Hampshire's jacking up that rate, which is sad because Absolute, you know, they put in the marketing money. They need to pay it off. They put in the bottle design. They need to pay it off, so it's going to naturally be more money. However, this was 16 I think $16.99, and a bottle of equivalent size, this is obviously bigger, was $18.99. Two dollars more. So, sorry Tito, but this time I went dual dual fisting absolute for uh, this week. Anyway, there you go. I hope you guys have a good day. We're teaching you how to freeze alcohol.